So what is this um, new awakening that apparently is taking place? Quite suddenly too. This awakening has been going on for centuries. Same awakening. Not little individual awakenings with periods of time and pauses in between. Same awakening. Right back to Buddha. Back to that mystics, that Vedantas. Right back to when the Druids and the Walk the Ley Lines and the Egyptians were building tombs or pyramids, whatever you call them. It's been going on for centuries. But yes, let's not be negative. It's like that boulder that goes down the hill, rolling down the hillside. It starts very slow and then it picks up speed at the bottom. And that's what's taking place right now. There are so many living, what you would call saints, or enlightened beings. Whereas in years gone by, they were hidden somewhere, very few and far between. But this awakening is colossal. And you, the one that has not experienced this, that still believe you are body and mind, are confused by how to get there, how to be part of it. I don't want to be left behind. I don't have the same uh, needs and desires as others. I, I, I don't have the same needs and desires as I used to when I was a child. So how do I know if I'm going to be awakened? What kind of group should I follow? What saint? What guru? What YouTube channel? What practice? What religion? What sect? What cult? What organization should I follow? Where should I go? Should I read the Bible? Should I read the Bhagavad Gita? Should I do all these Upanishads and um, read through all the prophecies and practices of past experience? Or should I just even be with the new, alive saints and gurus? Awakened beings. Well, I made a video a long time ago called What is the Secret to Enlightenment? And it's the same thing. What is the secret to awakening? There is no secret, you see. There is no practice and method to follow. Although beings like myself had seven years of, maybe nine years of of joy and bliss and coming to terms and wisdom and opposing states of paranoia and and fear and being taken to that devil's door and then that God door, same door, until allowed to be set free and say, okay, you can, you can be free. But well, it's not the case now. This awakening is not seven, nine years. This awakening is now, here and now. This awakening is now. No more years of meditation, practices, and yoga, and, and having to recite mantras and, and all that stuff. These are, they, they are okay. You can continue with these. You can continue and work with these. But how do you know? What is the process? How can I become awakened? Well, the whole thing is based on you, based on your trust. Not that you will become awakened. Trust. Okay, I trust, I trust. Trust that what is working within you, what is has been niggling within you for years, maybe 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 centuries, you don't know. That something inside that says there's something more than this. That I'm being manipulated, I'm being used, I'm being controlled. I'm having to follow suit. 
I'm having to copy everything. I'm having to fight for the people who have already passed. I'm having to prove to my peers that I'm okay. I, 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 I'm, I am successful. I am all these things. You're now, you've been questioning for many, many months, many years maybe. And you go to bed every night and you say, well, you know what? Life's not too bad. I'll just have to get up tomorrow morning and continue until something intervenes or something, I learn something or something mysterious happens. I could get up in the morning and I could start following the Panishads or the Bhagavad Gita or whatever. Look at some YouTube videos on Papaji and Ramana Maharshi and Anandame and Maha. Things that suit me, you know. That's the process for all the saints and all, including this being this, that was before. But awakening is not bland, organized. This whole awakening is that you are just living your life with a niggle inside. And beware, be aware of that niggle. Be aware of that uncomfortable situation, not in your head, in your gut. Because consciousness is sweeping and consciousness is looking for that little niggle. So all you have to do is go to your bed at night and instead of saying all these things, is to say, you know what? What will be, will be. I'm going to sleep. And in the morning, I don't know what's going to happen. I have no plans for the morning. I have no needs and desires and attachments to all that. Because what is taking place in this new awakening is people are going to the bed and waking up, reborn. Something in the middle of the night has removed that, that, that veil, that mask, that illusion, that mirror. It's as simple as that. And you'll start giving things away rather than worrying about how much money you can make and, and, and how you can prosper and what kind of job will bring you happiness and what kind of people you want to be alongside with. You'll give all these ideas away and say, you know what, I'm happy to give all my home away, my car away, I'm happy to give my, my body away, I'm happy to give my organs away, I'm happy to give everything away, you know, because I, I'm now new, I'm not understanding what's taking place. I forgot all about what it was like to be part of this system. It's See, now that's the frightening bit. You're going to wake up and give everything, everything away. Oh my God, I've worked so hard. And this is the mind that stops the niggling. It keeps the niggling up in the head. No, no, don't listen to this one. You're not going to wake up in the morning free. You're going to wake up in the morning the same as everyone else. You're going to have to work and strive and prove and earn your love. Because that's based on that old systematic Bible you have to prove to be worthy. But you have to become unworthy before you can prove to be worthy. So are you unworthy now? Are you that unworthy being with this niggle that knows that the life that you are experiencing is not as it seems? It's not what it should be, it's not what you, the contract you signed between you and God, doesn't feel as though this is it. There is an awakening taking place, yes. And all you have to do is wake up in the morning. Not tomorrow morning, not a week Monday morning. You don't know, you see. You just have to be ready. Most of these Wonderful speakers on YouTube are telling you about the universe and the movement of the planets and all this um, cosmotic movement, you know, rearranging and whatever. You don't have to worry about that. All they're saying is something big is happening. And it is big. Even if it's big just to one single you. Because I remember when this one awoke, it was gigantic to the, to, 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 to the whole self, to the whole of consciousness. It's a gigantic leap that you're about to take. And you don't have to worry about teaching and sharing and the world because consciousness 
in the next few years that is going to destroy that ego completely. And everyone's going to wake up and give things away. Even the politicians, even the billionaires are going to wake up and give things away. Because deep down inside, that's what they want to do. That's what we all want to do. We don't want to keep things and, and own things and be separate from the world. We want everything to be one whole sharing system. It's not about levels of status and levels of power and levels of control and levels of competitiveness and levels of preferences and attachments and associations, levels of desires, levels of needs, levels of entitlement. Consciousness is one whole beautiful, loving experience. And it's unsettled that it's not individually, equally shared out. And it's been unsettled since humans came on, before humans came on. This world of destruction and, and um, reduction. It's not a virus being created or a vaccine being created to destroy the human forms and bodies of life. There is no conspiracy. Everyone is on the knife edge. Everyone is on the dark night of the soul. Apart from those who have already jumped over the edge. Like this one. And on the bottom, well, actually, when you look back up, I never jumped. I've always been down here. It's not a level of poor me down here and them up there. Up there is that fragile place. Up there. Is that place of separation, segmentation, division, boundaries, hurdles, guidelines, rules, all these things you left behind. And when you wake up that morning, you'll realize that all these things were just foolish pranks played by a mind. Yes, you're about to awake if you trust in that unsettled gut feeling that there's something more. Something has to come of this. I was not put on here just to be what everything else the mind says I should be. I'm here to be something free, something awake, something pure, something aware. I'm here to be in love. I'm here to, I'm here to represent love. I'm here to reflect love. Love being, not that love, airy fairy, changing, coming and going. Pure, pure existence. Pure in the sense that you cannot escape from love. It's an unchanging love. This is awakening. This is awakening. Awakening itself. You're just tapped on the shoulder in the middle of the night and it's all over. You're reborn as Christ said you would be. So we'll see you on the other side. Right here, right now. And together we'll celebrate this one moment. And together we will recognize the past saints, the Jiddu Krishnamurtis, the Ramana Maharshis, the Buddhas, the Christs, the Rams, the Shivas, the Krishnas, the Arjunas. We'll recognize all those that have been working endlessly, tirelessly behind the scenes to share an early morning rise. When the sun rises on that morning, You'll see the world for what it really is and not behind that cloud, that mask, that veil that separates you from being anything other than whole, holy. All is one, always and always. We will be united. And glorious and ego bye bye Amen.
Namaste. Thank you. Be grateful for your life. Because when you're awake, you will really know what gratitude is, trust is, faith and acceptance. Because you will have overcome all of these things. To be a reflection of that God that truly is.